All right, I have a couple of switches here, and we are going to look at configuring Ether channel to use LACP and PAGP. So these switches just came online, and you can see that right now they are negotiating to figure out, using the Spanish tree protocol, which interfaces are going to be up and which ones are going to be down. So um, all the ones on the right-hand side, so both of them on the right-hand side, I guess, are both gigabit Ethernet. And the ones on the left-hand side are all fast Ethernet. When you create Ether channel, you can only use either fast Ethernet or gigabit Ethernet, but you cannot mix the two together. So now you can see that the lines are all there. They've decided what to do, and you can see that only one line on each side is live. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to configure on this switch zero to use uh, LACP for our ether channel. So I'll go in here and I will go into my global configuration and I want to group all of them. So they're fast ethernet 0, 1 through fast ethernet 0, 4 and so I'm going to go and do all of those together and create a channel group. So int range fa0 slash 1 dash 4 and I'll do channel Channel group, and I'm going to call it channel group one, and I am going to do mode, and then I get to decide which mode do I want to do. So there are five options. If I do on, then it's just going to set up um, ether channel, and it'll be alive and well. If I want to use the um, non-proprietary or the uh, the standard LACP, then I can either set it to active or to passive. If I want to use the Cisco proprietary PAGP, then um, I have to set it to either auto or desirable. So active and desirable are basically the same thing, and auto and passive are basically the same thing, just different protocols. So when you are setting up an Ether channel, you have to have at least one side has to be either active or desirable, depending on which protocol you're using. The other side can be the passive or auto, but if both sides are auto or both sides are passive, it will not set it up. If both sides are active or both sides are desirable, it will set it up. And then if you have one active and one passive, that will set it up, and or one desirable and one auto, that will also set it up. So let's go ahead and set this one as the active one. <clears throat> Once I create that, or configure that, I can go into the int port channel 1 that I just created, and I can make configuration changes that will affect all of the, the interfaces that are part of this port channel or channel group. So I'm going to do switch port, switch port, mode trunk. Make it a trunking line. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the other side, and since the first side was active, the second side I'm going to make passive, just so you can see how it works. So I enable that, conf t, and then I do int range fa0 slash 1 dash 4, and I'll do my channel group, and this is 1, and mode and I'm going to set this one to passive. Passive. All right. Now suddenly all those lines go down as it's trying to figure out what to do. How can they communicate? Um, and now I'm going to go into that int port channel 1. And I'm going to set this as trunk. So switch port mode trunk. All right. Now that it's set, both sides are configured the same way. You need to make sure that both sides are either both trunk, and if they are both trunk, they have to have the same native VLAN, which they both have as VLAN 1, because that's the default. And the allowed VLAN numbers have to be the same, and there's no limitations, so they're, they're both fine. And you can see that suddenly all four lines there are live and green. Now I'm do the other side. So this one is the Gigabit Ethernet. So the int range g0 slash 1 dash 2. So both gigabit ethernets. And I'm going to use this one 
I'm going to configure it as PAG P. So I will do channel group, and we'll do channel group 2, mode, and I can decide, do I want this to be desirable, or do I want it to be auto? So I'll do desirable. And then I can exit out of here, go in uh, port channel 2, and I can configure this one as switch port mode trunk as well. And that one's ready to go. Then I do the last one. Once again, same interfaces, gigabit Ethernet 0, 1, or 0, 0 through, or 0, 1 through 0, 2. So enable conf t int range g0 slash 1 dash 2. And I'll do a channel group 2 mode. And I did desirable, so I can do auto, which will then liven it up, kind of. I still have said that it's trunking. I can exit out of there and then do my channel group. So int channel, actually port channel, port channel 2. And I'll do switch port mode trunk. At this point, all I need to do is wait, I can speed up ahead, and I have both sides live. So the left-hand side is using LACP, and the right-hand side is using PAGP, and that is how you configure your Ether channel.